was an arrest that went so wrong that two local police officers are out of a job. In fact, they've been locked up, convicted of felonies. All of it was caught on the officer's body cameras, and you're going to see it right here, right now. Channel 2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum has the video and the exclusive interview with the man who was targeted. Just north of Conroe in Willis, a small town with a country feel. A heated family argument. What did I do? Walk away from what did I do? Ran off the rails in a most unexpected way. I would say it's traumatizing because it's something that I'll never forget in my life. Two of the three police officers who responded to this July 2017 disturbance call are now freshly convicted felons serving time behind bars. But does the problem go beyond them? What about the cops up here? <laughs> I'm the son of a police officer, and I know good cops when I see them, but I also know bad cops when I see them. Now run your nail, is that what you just say, huh? Who caught who? Huh? Whose probes are in your back? Who caught who, mother huh? Again. Run your mouth. That profanity-laced tirade directed at 20-year-old suspect Kedrick Kizzy was not what got Officer John McCaffrey convicted of a felony. What really hung him up was lying about the chain of events. What was the biggest lie? We told him to stop. Uh, we gave him uh, multiple times to comply. Police reports signed by both Officer McCaffrey and Officer Kenneth Elmore paint a picture of a man who knew he was under arrest and then decided to run. Nobody's going to chase you. We want you to leave. There's no question Kizzy taunts the officers, but importantly, at no point do the officers tell him he's under arrest. In fact, they've just told him the opposite. I seen them huddle up. I don't know what they said. And after they huddle up, they got back in their cars, and I thought they had another call. Grab my taser. Can we do that? Is that yeah. possible? Yeah, I'm not going to chase him on foot. I'll, uh, I don't need to chase him. My car will chase him. Up. He'll pick him up. He's pissing me off now. Suddenly, the chase is on, and Kizzy says he's convinced the officers are out to kill him. I start running because I fear for my life. I just see my life flash before my eyes. A planned drive-by tasing, targeting a man who was never told he was under arrest and had a legal right to be on the street, according to Montgomery County DA Brett Ligon, who prosecuted the cases against the officers himself. Drive-by tasing? I've never heard that term before, but it came out of their mouth so easy it left no doubt in my mind or the jury's mind that not only was this a an expression that had been used before, but in likelihood was a common practice. I like it. Both McCaffrey and Elmore were just convicted of tampering with a government record for falsifying police reports about the incident. They were sentenced to a year behind bars and cannot be police officers again in Texas. The criminal case against Kedrick Kizzy was dropped. He's now suing the city and the officers in federal court, claiming they violated his civil rights. Chief Nowak in? He is not in. But we still have questions for Willis Police Chief James Nowak, who told us via email he's not ready to talk about what happened because of pending litigation. Nowak testified his officers did nothing criminal, did not violate policy, and he's declined an opportunity to partner with the DA to examine department protocol. It would have been an opportunity to address some, some clear training issues uh, that I've not been presented the opportunity to do. Do you still live here? No, sir. Why not? Because I'm, I'm frightened to come down here. I feel like I was being used as target practice. The third officer involved in Kedrick Kizzy's arrest was not charged with the crime and remains on duty. On Click2Houston.com under the Investigates tab, you can take a closer look at this body cam video, including portions not aired on TV. Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC Channel 2 News.